Hello everyone, welcome to Fax Connection YouTube channel. So today we'll be bypassing Google account on Motorola G7 Power. You may use the same method on some other models as well. To do so, let's first of all connect it with your Wi-Fi. Or you should have a data or internet service. So let's see if it has a Google account and follow along me and I believe it's, it will work for you guys and that's the easiest way that we have found I hope it's gonna work for you please don't forget to like share and subscribe for more videos so if every viewer is subscribed to our channel so we will grow up and we will try to make more professional more nicer videos and easy videos for you guys so we need your support so that's why we're requesting every viewer to subscribe to our channel and let's see so it's checking for updates this may take a few minutes So here it is installing updates usually every phone model when you are trying to set up uh, the phone for the first time that's what is gonna check for the updates security updates firmware updates just to make sure that your phone is loaded with the latest updates and lat latest security updates just be patient Sometimes you may get a message taking too long, try going back and connecting to a different network. That happens usually with a lot of models. No worries. Just be patient and okay, so here it is. Don't copy any data. First of all, it got a pattern lock. We forgot. We don't know how to access it, and we forgot the Google account. So let's go back. You see here language. Click on that on the first screen. Swipe down. Click any of these Chinese language. Let's select the last one. Here you may select the first one. So complete. The language has changed. So now click on this emergency call button click here on the top this black button and click again click on this edit option click on this plus sign or at and here click on search you will see now you got a global icon uh, for keyboard so press and hold that and click on these Chinese letters here again click on this long green button and here you see a lot of stuff just click on any of these which 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 has a right arrow click on the first one for example click on these three dots in the top right corner click on the second option it will bring uh, this page here click on android android accessibility and try to open up this uh, this video youtube video so once once you open that uh, click on these three dots and click on this clock sign it will open up the browser no thanks now here we need to install Google account manager you can still see the English letters in alphabets on this Chinese keyboard press and hold uh, slide to the right so G O 
so all you have to download google account manager space Again here, make it easy. We are trying to download 6.1 version, which is 6.0.1. This one will work better. Let's download it from from the first one. Let's try with that one. Download. downloading okay, so once it's got downloaded you can click on here here's a link just click on that it will open up installation page allow that from Chrome it's still in Chinese but you should be familiar somehow or if you follow along with me so you will know how it works so let's install that so this check mark means everything is good. Google Account Manager has been installed. Now type here Quick Shortcut Maker. That's what we are trying to download. quick shortcut maker that's what we are trying to download version doesn't matter so click on any of that website especially up to down.com okay now download close this translation Google Translate page so here install that download that click again here on this link it's in Chinese letters so it will, it will install okay so it means everything is good open that up so first of all we are trying to load the um, android version or motorola launcher moto f launcher so let's try that one now here find settings and swipe down click on the last one and here click on this one you will see the globe icon here for Gboard click on the first one again click on this plus sign or add a language click on English press and hold swipe up so language will be changed to English now let's go back and we are trying to reinstall the quick shortcut maker and beside that let's go back to the settings first Swipe down here, find security and location. And you see, location is off. Turn on that. Go back. And here you see device admin apps. Click on that. Find my device. Turn off that. Let's go back. Let's go back. And as we said, let's reinstall the quick shortcut maker just to change the language inside the apps so click on these files again continue download so we are reinstalling that just for some of the apps which are still in Chinese language in this app under this app so now let's open that now all the apps convert it to English so now here you see Google account manager click on this fourth one which says or fifth one type email and password and try that click on three dots top right corner click on browser sign in okay so you should wait for that okay now here right here your email any email that you have the password for it We will write our email. Type the 
password for your email that's the first thing we did now cancel that go back go back find here chrome browser if you don't see it here you can find it here so click on chrome browser and type here find my device swipe down so this one which says google android find so we are trying to open up that link type here again the same email that you just typed the same email that you just typed in google account manager so we are trying to type the same email here for this method you don't need a second phone or anything like that so okay so it's telling us is is it you trying to sign in yes it's me I got two step verification so sometimes you may try again let's try again okay so it's telling me to type on another device so let's see now let me try with I have activated two factor authentication so that's why I get this anyhow so let's see. okay so now we are here so you will see Motorola Moto G7 power the same model you will see it here click on setup secure in areas click on that so now the message has been sent to the Motorola. Let's try again. This is sent again. Let's play a sound. Just making sound. Okay, let's go back. find my device we are already signed in so I'm trying to see okay here you see secure device so if you see this device alone secure device so that means just type the password for your phone so this will be like a lock password or security password just type Again, whatever password you want. Let's, for example, write down fake in action. Again, fake in action. Next, okay. We don't want to add any message. That's it. So now our phone is locked with a password. Just restart the device. So that's the easiest way, easiest method to bypass Google account on these models. You may try the same method on some other models as well. Uh, hit like, subscribe for more videos, and we really appreciate your support all you have to secure the device just type the password you don't have to erase the device 
the security device and let's see if it's gonna ask for the same password that we just put it here okay just hold on wait for it all right so now type the password that fix in action okay the first lock screen has been bypassed let's set up the device don't copy we see the account has been added just a second more accept seems like everything is smooth and good skip that Skip that. No thanks. Accept. Yes. That's it. You have successfully bypassed Google account on this device. You may try the same method on some other device as well. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe for more videos. We really appreciate your support. We request every viewer to subscribe to our channel. Thank you.